ordena su majestad. ¡Preparados! a su majestad. a su majestad.
Mr. Speaker, on Friday evening last, I received His Majesty's commission to form a new administration. It was the evident wish and will of the nation that this should be conceived on the broadest possible basis and that it should include all parties, both those who supported the late government and also the parties of the opposition. I have completed the most important part of this task. A war cabinet has been formed of five members, representing with the liberal opposition the unity of the nation. The three party leaders have agreed to serve either in the war cabinet or in high executive office. The three fighting services have been filled. It was necessary that this should be done in one single day on account of the extreme urgency. This was a great trial of strength between the British and German air forces. Can you conceive a greater objective for the Germans in the air than to make evacuation from these beaches impossible? And to sink all these ships which were in space almost to the extent of the house? Could there have been an objective of greater military importance and significance? For the whole purpose of the war, they tried hard, and they were beaten back. They were frustrated in their stomach. We got the army away, and they paid fourfold for any loss which they have in Sir, when we consider how much greater would be our advantage in defending the air above this island against an overseas attack, I must say that I find in these facts a sure basis upon which practical and reassuring thoughts may rest. I will pay my tribute to these young airmen. The great French army was very largely, for the time being, cast back and disturbed by the onrush of a few thousands of armored vehicles. May it not also be that the cause of civilization itself will be defended by the skill and devotion of a few thousand airmen. There never has been, I suppose, in all the world, in all the history of war, such an opportunity for you. The Knights of the Round Table all fall back into the past. Not only distant, but prosaic. These young men going forth every morn to guard their native land and all that we stand for, holding in their hands these instruments of colossal and shattering power, of whom it may be said that every morn brought forth a noble chance, and every chance brought forth a noble night, deserve our gratitude, yes, to all the brave men. In so many ways and on so many occasions, are ready and continue ready to give life and all to their native land. Majestad. Nevertheless, our thankfulness at the escape of our army and so many men who loved us and passed through an agonizing week, but not blind us to the fact that what happened in France and Belgium, it's a colossal military decision. The French army has been weakened, the Belgian army has been lost, a large part of those fortified lines upon which so much faith had been reposed, it's gone. Many valuable mining districts and factories have passed into the enemy's possession. The whole of the channel ports are in its hands, with all the tragic consequences that follow from that, and we must expect another blow to be struck almost immediately at us or at France. We are told, sir, that Herr Hitler has a plan for invading the British Isles.
this has often been thought of before. When Napoleon laid Boulogne for a year with his flat bottom boats and his grand army, he was told by someone there are bitter weeds in England. There are certainly a great many more of them since the British expeditionary force returned. Sir, I have my full confidence that if all do their duty, if nothing is neglected, and if the best arrangements are made, as they are being made, we shall prove ourselves once more able to defend our island home, to ride out the storm of war, and to outlive the menace of tyranny, if necessary for years. At any rate, that is what we are going to try to do. That is the resolve of his majesty's government. Every man of them. That is the will of Parliament and the nation. The British Empire and the French Republic together in their cause and in their need will defend to the death their native aiding each other like good comrades to the utmost of their We shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our islands, whatever they cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And if which I do not for a moment believe this island or a large part of it, but... Mr. Speaker, on the disastrous military events which have happened during the past fortnight have not come to me with any sense of surprise. Indeed, I indicated a fortnight as clearly as I could to the House that the worst possibilities were open. And I made it perfectly clear that whatever happened in France would make no difference to the resolve of Britain. If necessary for years, if necessary alone. Mm, I have thought it right upon this occasion to give the House and the country some indication of the solid practical ground on which we base our respect the war. There are a good many people who say, never mind, win or lose, sink or swim, better die than submit to tyranny, and such a tyranny. And I do not dissociate myself from them. But I can assure them that our professional advisors of the three services unitedly advise that we should carry on the war and that there are good and reasonable hopes of final victory. 
We have fully informed and consulted all the self-governing dominions. These great communities, far beyond the ocean, who have been built up on our laws and on our civilization, and who are actively free to choose their course, but are absolutely devoted to the ancient motherland, and who feel themselves inspired by the same emotion which leads me to stake our all upon duty and honor.
¡Destruyanlo! ¡Vamos! ¡En marcha! ¡Destruyanlo! ¡Parados! Era de órdenes.
la orden. Ordena su majestad. ¡Preparados!
listos y a la espera de órdenes. ¡Pegáfenlos! ¡Destruyanlo! ¡Cerdo asqueroso! ¡Preparados! ¿Qué ordena su majestad? por encima. ¡Preparado! Señor, a la orden. ¿Qué ordena su majestad? ¿Qué ordena su majestad? Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The United States was at peace with that nation. And, at solicitation of Japan, still in conversation with its government and its emperor, looking toward the maintenance of peace in the Pacific. Indeed, one hour after, Japanese air squadrons had commenced bombing in the American island of Oahu, The Japanese ambassador to the United States and his colleague delivered to our Secretary of State a formal reply to a recent American message. While this reply stated that it seemed useless to continue the existing diplomatic negotiations, it contained no threat Señor, a la orden. ¿Qué ordena?
Grandchildren, Preparados. much later, out of a last ditch war for the preservation of American independence. All independence you, me, and ours. Never before. Our American been in such a danger. Masters of Germany made it clear that they had not only to dominate all the life fought in their own country, but also to enslave the whole of Europe, and then to use the resources of Europe to dominate the rest of the world. States has no right or reason to encourage talk of peace until the day shall come when there is a clear intention on the part of the aggressor nations to abandon all thought of dominating or conquering the world. The 
forces of the states that are lead against all people who live in Senor. are being held away from our shores. German and Italian Senor. are being on the other side of the Atlantic by the British Senor. and by the Greeks and by thousands of soldiers and sailors who are able to escape from Senor. educated countries. Все 